I'm sure I'm not the first one talking about this, but I wanted to do a very quick video on this topic because I see it as a recurrent topic on the, from my customers. We are on a technology age where we're used to get any kind of software and the first thing that we're told to do is to upgrade that software. Anything that we get, our phones, our computers, everything works that way, right? And you can understand it because if you don't upgrade it to the newest one, you have problems maybe with bugs and you might not be able to get the latest and nicest, coolest feature that they are providing. But in the FPV world, this doesn't really apply. If you think about what's happening many times is that the drones are configured by the manufacturers using one specific Betafly version. Betafly is the software running on the flight controllers of most of the FPV drones that we are flying. And that configuration applies to a very specific version of Betafly. And the reason for this is because Betafly is always introducing new features or uh, sometimes even changing the way that it handles some features and moving from one version to the other creates the good thing that you have new features but it also creates sometimes the problem of the way that something was being handled the values that you have on the configuration might not apply completely or well it might not apply correctly to the new feature set that you have or the new values that they are supposed to use. This creates a problem that if you get a new drone from your manufacturer, you open your Binance flight and you go and you upgrade the beta flight version, the configuration that was there, it stops working. And then your, your drone is not gonna fly correctly, it's not gonna fly as intended, and sometimes it's not even going to fly, right? All this is to say that if you buy a new Bind and Fly, don't run and try to upgrade Betafly. Leave it as it is, fly it for a while with that configuration. The, the manufacturer has worked quite some time on getting all those parameters that Betafly has because it has a huge amount of parameters. They have worked on getting all those parameters to work with that drone and the configuration of one drone cannot be moved to another drone that's why they have to do such a big work to get everything correctly and especially when we're talking about tuning the drone tuning is something that makes a drone fly correctly and nicely and that's a big part of that feeling that you get when you're flying and you say wow this one is flying so well it's because the manufacturer spent time tuning that drone and if you go and you upgrade directly your better flight you might damage that tuning so again summary here you buy a binary fly don't go and run and upgrade better flight but what happens if you go and you do it by mistake or because you are used to this push by every company to go out and upgrade your software the solution is actually pretty simple because what you have to do is to find the original configuration from the manufacturer either by looking at their website for example GetParC has it on the support section of the website they have all the CLIs for all their drones uh, Happy Model has also all the CLIs for their drones it's much more complicated to find them because that better uh, sorry Happy Model page is a little bit of a mess but they have the information there so if you look for it you're gonna find it I fly I believe um, it has a G drive with all the information, but they are there. And then you have companies like Diaton that they don't have it on the website, but if you email their customer support, they will send you that uh, configuration file. Once you have the configuration file on the top, you're gonna see the version of Betafly that was used to, to match that configuration. And if you reflash your drone with that version that is specified on the file, and then you copy and paste all that information on that file on your CLI, your drone is gonna be as new as, as it's coming from factory. And you should be able to go and fly and enjoy it as long as you haven't made any kind of hardware change and everything should be working. That's the way that you can fix this 
issue quickly if you have by mistake upgraded. Of course, there are some corner cases here that I'm not going to enter. Like if you upgraded to a wrong firmware, you might have a little bit more of a complicated time going back to that correct software, but that's, that's a topic for another video. And of course, there will be moments where you want and it might be convenient to upgrade Betaflight, but hopefully that's gonna be after you have some experience with your drone and you know what you're doing. And you can uh, either uh, configure every parameter of the drone by yourself because you know what you're doing, or the manufacturer might provide you with an upgraded version of their CLI to work with that new Betaflight version that is available. Hopefully this video teaches you something and it's uh, helpful somehow. Thank you for watching and see you soon.